Ah, right. hello, how you doing, everybody? My name is Marty Hot 12. Shut that door. Uh, we're back in Marty's place, and we're gonna make a piston really quick because I'm going to make a cobblestone generator today. Um, I know I have a crap ton of cobble back here, I think. Yeah. I know I have a lot of cobble back here, but, um, I'd rather, I just want to make a cobblestone generator because I had a cool idea for one and I kind of want to see if it works. Uh, let me give you the tour. These doors are open because somehow the villagers died. I don't know how, but they died, so I had to remake villagers and I actually moved them all out there. I'll show you here in a second. Um, I've moved Hulktastic in here with Edgar and Axel because I figured they should be friends. Um, as you can see, the wall is coming along quite well. I'll just start over here. Here's my here's my little dark wood um, tree factory. Here's where it's here is where the wall starts, and it goes all the way along the edge. These diagonals were a little different, so I had to do them different, but I think they look good. And then of course we have a gate right there for the water. Whoosh. And then it keeps going along. These were my favorite because, well, they were square and straight, and I could make them look like I wanted. But, uh, you know, it's kind of tricky going around edges, but I think it looks. There's, uh, how? Uh -huh. Oh yeah, I changed the, uh, I changed the entrance to the, uh, zombie spawner to right there. I think it looks cooler. I'm gonna have to go in there and put torches. But yeah, the wall's coming along quite nice. Here's where I got stuck because, well, mostly I ran out of wool, but... I also need a generator, uh, a cobblestone generator. We're gonna make one. I'm gonna show you guys that too here in a minute. I don't know why I just ran in there looking for a bed. Um, sleep. It's been a good day though. I've done a lot on Marty's place actually. I came home home for the weekend, like back where my parents live, because like I uh, said in I think today's Pokemon episode, my brother's actually coming home. So die zombie. Uh, I came home and my sister came home because of course she was going to see him so I, I had all my nieces and my nephew and they were all like play Marty's Place build stuff so I've been playing Marty's Place and building stuff and giving them tours that's why all the doors are open um, but let's see first off I moved uh, Wacky Max from over here to over here because uh, she decided she wanted to add a terrace which I'm quite proud of. I think it looks really cool, actually. I think it was a great idea for her to come up with. Uh, but yeah, moving it was fun. Of course, we have this one still back here, kind of nestled in the back now. Uh, we have two new houses, do do. So two new people need to move in. So if, if you uh, are if you don't already have a house and you're a new subscriber, uh, write a comment and I'll give away the houses. But uh, the first one we have is this really cool. Um, I was watching a lot of uh, B double O, and I think his his attack of the B team, and he was doing kind of these, his, uh, the first attack, not attack of the B team, the first um, feed the beast, and when him and Jenny were up on top of the mountain, he built a lot of these kind of like windy, rickety looking houses, and I was like, I wonder if I could kind of do that. So I made the base smaller than the top, and then I gave it this kind of roof, which I really think. It looks good. So here, let me just show you what's in here. You have this little like storage walk-in room that's two chests. Um, up here, you have the like just a chest, cauldron, you know, just the basic like living essentials. Um, and then up here's the bedroom. And I added pretty flowers, two little flower boxes up top, uh, which I think are really nice actually. And then over here. We have their neighbor, which this was the, I, fi I finally, I put the picture up on the other screen. I don't know why I just went this way to show you the other screen. Uh, but this is what Marty's place, the, the house back there, was actually kind of designed after the first floor at least. I wanted to make it this exact house because I love this house because this is actually the first house I ever built on Minecraft, like on my first world ever, I went in, I found a village, and I like, 
kept renovating this one house until it turned into this. So let me show you what's it like inside. Okay, you have of course you have the uh, the little foyer walk-in and the te the little table overlooking the water. Here's the little like kitchenette. Um, that shit. Why, why are you not turned? Oh, I'll fix it later. Um, here's the little kitchenette with like your cookbooks, the big library, avid readers in this house, avid readers. And then you go up here, here's the little bedroom, but here's my favorite part. Oh, ah, walk through the door. Why can I not? Oh, there we go. I was worried. Here's my favorite part, this little, like, uh, terrace overgrowth thing up on top. I love it. The village is coming along, guys. Um, I'm really excited for, like, directions it's going. And since they came home this weekend, I've really got this new kind of, like, building urge. Um... Let me go kill this creeper. Oh, ooh, I need to eat. No wonder I can't sprint. Um, let me show you. I did some stuff up here, too. Let me show you uh, what I did. Do I have stone? Yeah, because this is going to bother me. Um, I cleared out all this area. It was caves and stuff, so I cleared it out, and I squared it off. And um, I also... This is the part that's going to annoy me. Give me that. I also flattened this out because I had this idea that maybe I could build kind of a cool like uh, tunnel pathway um, over and like this be kind of like the trophy room so like kind of almost like a tourist stop for the people that are coming in to the town so I put the egg in here so I'm gonna you know pretty it up I might put like a wither head some things like that so if you guys can actually tell me some monuments that should go like in the trophy room from the series uh, for you guys that have been watching for a long time that'd be really cool um, and like I said I cleared this out made it all level I'm thinking what I'm gonna do too is I'm gonna have two pathways maybe one coming in this side like right here so people stop off and see the trophy room and they come down here and it loops and then I'm thinking I might take one right here too that goes down and hits this little wood pathway and you can come up that way so it'd be two paths coming in and I just think it looked really cool let's see if I can hit a creeper are you guys ready what oh I don't have strength I'm too far out yeah I'm too far out but that was all cooly that's all goody uh, so we're actually gonna make the little oh and uh, here's a little fun fact if you take logs I took logs because I was like oh it's kind of like they're in construction, and if you take um, rails and stick them over the logs, it kind of looks like they're tying them down. So, just cool little details like that will go a long way in your uh, in your builds, guys. But we are actually going to make a small little pool, um, never lose a piece cobblestone generator, and I'm kind of thinking I might actually build a building around it. So I'm trying to think where I should put it. Um, which I guess I should have done beforehand, but hmm. Well, you know what? I'll just build it right over here. I'll put it right here. This will be a good spot. Yeah, this will be good. Enderman. Actually, I might need to take this down. I can't take it all the way down, but I might take just this layer down, because it, it makes more sense. I am. Let's take it down real fast. Not all the way, like I said, just... Cross like that, I think. Okay. That should be good, right? That, that annoys me. There we go. Get rid of that. And that. And that. Perfect. Yeah, that'll work. And then we can have a cool little drop down path. Okay. So, let's build this thing really quick. First off, we're going to go down. Yeah, see, this is where I uh, I place dirt on top of the sand. 
and I didn't want to go all the way down. So, I didn't. But, okay, first thing is first. We're going to have to make one of those um, cool redstone clocks. So, I got my repeaters and uh, redstone. Oh, we need a lever. Okay, so let's make this really fast. It goes boom, 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 boom. Put them all to their max tickage. Okay, boom, 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 boom. No, uh, boom. Okay, now where do we? Where do we want this? Because if that's where that is, uh, I think right over here. I think this side is where we should put it. Okay. So we're gonna go boom, boom. Place, of course, the uh, piece of redstone right there like that. Uh, we put the piston facing up. Perfect. Okay, now we can just put some sand there. Um, you get rid of these. That's fine right there. Okay, we need a bucket of water and a bucket of lava. So, for time conveniences, uh, because I don't want to have to go look for lava in the episode, I'm just going to take them from the uh, cow cooker. If I can. Yeah, there we go. Lava. And then, of course, I'll replace those off camera. I just don't. I don't want to have to go find lava, like I said, uh, and get a bucket. Okay, uh, dirt. Dirt, McGirt. You can put the dirt back on top. And then we need to put our lever. There we go. Now we go up. Fill in the dirt. Okay, now this is going to be a little tricky. Actually, it's not. We're just going to do it right like this. Okay, so water goes here. Lava will go there here in a moment. But first, we're actually going to build up the little bitty... Um, house that it's going to be uh, fit in. So we will go right like so. Go there. Yep, okay, perfect. And then you go boom, boom, boom. And then where's my obsidian at? You put obsidian up top right like that. Actually, these back two should be obsidian too, so I don't know. Blow through it. So, yeah. Okay, uh, let's sleep really fast. Get rid of the night. And then I'll show you guys why this is a never lose piece of cobblestone generator. It's really simple design. It's not really that uh, that tough at all. And like I said, I can probably. I'll either move it or I'll put a. Uh, I don't know, I need that. I'll put a building around it. But I need the stone. Because while I'm sitting here waiting for the trees to grow, I'd rather just grab the stone. Okay, I already did that. Perfect. Um, I probably will actually replace these with, uh, fern eye. But, okay. Hey. Hey. That's for a different day. Okay, perfect. Now we can get in there. Put the lava. And boom. Moves it up, moves it up, and then you just stand here and get cobblestone for days. Never lose a piece because uh, pistons can't push obsidian. So you're good to go. And like I said, actually we'll do it right now. We'll just we'll replace those with 
Fern Eye really fast so that you kind of get the whole complete uh, look. Do, 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 do. I need four of them. Ferna! It's the plural furnace. <laughs> so, yeah. Then, um, of course, you can just. I'll just smelt smooth stone. Oh. I punched it. Hey, hey, buddy. Leave me alone, please. Thank you. Alrighty. Uh, it's really compact too, guys. I mean, technically, if you wanted, you could get rid of this and just have um, the one pillar. So the like, oh, the building options are pretty much limitless if it's one block tall. So I mean, you could put it in your house if you wanted, and then just whenever you're bored, oh, need some cobble, oh, need some cobble, or down at a uh, down at a grinder. That'd be, it'd be really good down at like an XP farm while you're waiting for all the XP's to drop or all the mobs to drop you can just sit there and smelt up smooth stone because everybody needs smooth stone especially if you put a tree farm next to it make um, charcoal you are good to go but that is going to do it for the episode guys sorry about it being all um... I never get tired of this sorry for it being uh, kind of short and kind of derpy but um, I, I built a lot uh, the last two day, the last, not two days, the last couple days, um, with this and this and having to move this. So I wasn't really, I have, I have the inspiration to start building things again. Like this one, I really loved. I love the fact that it was smaller on the top and bigger on the, on the top, smaller on the bottom, bigger on the top instead of being the other way around. I really loved that fact and it's intrigued me. Uh, so I think the next episode though I need you guys to comment like crazy because hopefully maybe I can make another Marty's place this week hopefully I'm not promising it but hopefully so you guys can tell me some things to put here in the trophy room uh, and we'll start working on the other stuff around town I'll probably get I'll probably get this moved on over and that will be it there's my speed but I'm gonna go grab some I need water and I'm going to go grab a lava bucket so we can fix the uh, cow cooker. And that's going to do it, though, guys, for the day. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you for liking and commenting on the video. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Become a nut today. It's really easy. And as always, stay nutty, my friends. I never get tired of it.